Hey, I have my hat. Uh, and today I'm bringing you a relatively quick March wrap-up. Relatively quick partly because I didn't actually finish very many books this month, and partly because most of the books I read this month I either have already talked about in a different video or I'm planning on talking about in greater depth in a different video later. So I only actually finished four of the six books that were on my March TBR this month, um, but I'm not really disappointed in that because uh, if you'll remember from my TBR, I wanted to read The Lord of the Rings this month. And when I started reading these books, I, I sort of came to the realization that I wanted to really take my time with them uh, and take them in. So I was not rushing to finish these, but I only finished the first two this month. I finished The Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers. These are lovely old copies. I wish I could show you through the camera how they smell because they smell like the best old books you will ever encounter. This is the second edition box set. And I don't want to say too much about these until I read the third book. I have never seen the movies. I went into this pretty blind just knowing that these were classics and the little bits of Lord of the Rings stuff that have sort of permeated pop culture, but I really didn't know what to expect. I still don't know really what to expect uh, from the third book, and I am just loving that experience. I'm so glad I did it this way. The writing is really dense and really interesting, uh, and I'm enjoying it very much. And I am going to do a full video about my experience of uh, diving into Lord of the Rings for the first time when I finish this series. So I think all I really want to say right now is that my favorite part so far was at the end of the second book, where for a few pages Frodo and Sam are contemplating what kind of story they might be in, and that passage just hit me unexpectedly in all of the feels, and I loved it. And it made me really, really happy that I um, have finally gotten around to reading these books. I did give each of these books four stars. I also read two library books this month. The first was Goliath by Scott Westerfeld. This is the third book in the Leviathan trilogy. I did a full review of the Leviathan trilogy, uh, which I will link for you. This trilogy is a YA steampunk alternate history of World War I. I ultimately had really mixed feelings about the trilogy as a whole, and although Goliath wasn't, I think, a worse book than the other two, it sort of ended up being the book that highlighted for me and sort of helped me figure out some of the bigger problems that I'd been having with the series without totally realizing it before. So even though I gave the first two books higher ratings, I only gave Goliath two stars. Please check out my review to learn more about why. And the second library book that I read this month was Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett. This is the second book in the Death sub-series of the Greater Discworld series. I was actually very pleased with this. Mort, the first book, hadn't been one of my favorites of Discworld so far. I don't think Mort is particularly necessary reading to go into Reaper Man. There aren't really any plot elements that carry over from that book. But I don't think that Reaper Man would make a good starter book for the Discworld series as a whole, because I feel like there are a whole lot of references to other Discworld things that you'll appreciate more if you've read some of the other books. Basically, the premise of Reaper Man is that Death receives notice from higher-ups that he is uh, being retired and that he now has a limited amount of time to live and he is going to die, and a new Death is going to arise to take his job. Faced suddenly with his own mortality, Death heads off to experience life truly and fully and figure out what it is to be mortal and he takes a job on a farm. Meanwhile, because Death is not doing his job, things on Discworld are not able to properly die, and there is a buildup of life force, and this causes all sorts of wacky, wonderful catastrophes. This was one of those Terry Pratchett books that just sort of struck me dumb with awe in the, the sheer imagination 
of, of how this developed and what it turned into. I did give it four stars, and the place where it lost a star for me was on personal preference. I am personally not fond of zombie narratives, and there was a zombie element in this, uh, so as nice a fellow as poor Wendell Poons was, I didn't particularly enjoy uh, the plotline of his story that took place after he died. And those were the four books that I completed this month. The last two books that were on my TBR for March I have already started. Um, Rite of Passage by Alexei Panshin I am nearly done with, and you will hear more from me about this book when I finish it because the reason I picked it up in March was because I uh, immediately thought of this for the monthly recommendations theme of survival stories for April, so I'm thinking this is going to be in my monthly recommendations video that will be going up later this month. And then of course I have The Return of the King, which I have started but only symbolically. I've read like the first page so I can stick a bookmark in it and add it to my currently reading on Goodreads. So I have technically started this, but really only symbolically. And now that I have a whole nother month, I'm going to take my sweet and lovely time with this. This is the one of the three of these editions that has the purple pages on top, so that makes me happy. And there you go, that's my quick little March wrap up. Okay, bye for now.